Hi there everybody. Greetings from Jews for Jesus in the United Kingdom. We want to wish you a happy Hanukkah and a happy Christmas from all of us here at Jews for Jesus in the UK. We're so grateful for your support and prayers, especially in this challenging year with COVID, lockdown and social distancing. We want you to know that even in these darkest of times, Yeshua, Jesus, the light of the world, has been shining brightly in our hearts. And we've been sharing his light among our Jewish people so that the light of the world can be truly seen and known as the glory of his people Israel. At this time of Hanukkah and Christmas, we bring you our greetings and our message of encouragement that the light shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot put it out. John 1 verse 5. That's what the message of Hanukkah is all about. You can see from the Hanukkah candles, nine lights. We light one candle each night of Hanukkah. Beginning with the first candle on the evening of Thursday the 10th of December, adding one candle on each of the eight days of the festival, we say the blessing, Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaAlom, Asher Kiddushanu BeYeshua, V'Natan Lanu Lehadlik Ne'er Shel Hanukkah. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who made us holy through Yeshua and gave us to kindle the Hanukkah lights. Up to the Friday the 18th of December. Each night we remember the victory of Judah the Maccabee and his brothers over the evil Antiochus Epiphanes. He wanted the Jewish people to abandon the God of Israel and worship the gods of Greece and Rome. He desecrated the temple in Jerusalem and wanted a pig to be sacrificed on the altar. But Judah and his brothers led a revolt against the, the armies of Antiochus and despite their small numbers were able to capture and reconsecrate the temple. According to our tradition, there was only enough oil to keep the menorah in the temple burning for one day. But a great miracle happened there, and the oil kept the perpetual light burning a full eight days until more oil could be consecrated. This tradition reminds us of the light of God's presence. Once we have his light burning in our hearts, we know that it will never be put out. Hanukkah also points us to Jesus, to Yeshua. It's no coincidence that he teaches about himself at the Feast of Hanukkah. Hanukkah comes from a Hebrew word, Chanak, which the New Testament translates as the Feast of Dedication, in Greek, Enkaineia, making all things new. Jesus teaches at the Feast of Dedication in the Gospel of John. In chapter 10, verses 22 to 30, we read, at that time, the Feast of Dedication took place at Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was walking in the temple, in the colonnade of Solomon, so that the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. And Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name bear witness about me, but you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me and I give them eternal life and they will never perish and no one will snatch them out of my hand. My father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one is able to snatch them out of the father's hand. I and the father are one. The Jewish people were hoping that another anointed leader, a Messiah would arise to set them free from the Romans, just as Judah the Maccabee freed them from the Greeks. But Jesus gives them more than they were asking for. Instead of freeing them from their human enemies, he promised to free them from death itself and give them eternal life and a relationship with the one true God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Just as we celebrate Hanukkah, we rejoice even more as we celebrate the birth of Yeshua. We know that his birth, his life, his death and his rising from the dead confirm to us the promise of eternal life. And we celebrate this both at this season and throughout the year. Please will you remember us in your prayers. We so appreciate your support. And any gift that you can give at this time of Hanukkah and Christmas goes towards sharing the good news of the light of the world. Coming to us as a human being, 
born as a baby in Bethlehem, brought up in Nazareth, teaching and doing miracles in the Galilee, arrested and tried and crucified in Jerusalem, rising from the dead and coming again to judge the nations and restore Israel. Our workers are busy sharing this good news. In Jerusalem and all around the world. In London and New York. In Sydney and in Cape Town. In Moscow, Paris and Berlin. This year, please pray with us for the ultra-Orthodox Jewish community, where the ravages for the coronavirus have been particularly severe, and for our team working among them. We wish you a happy Hanukkah, full of miracles, and a joyful celebration of the birth of the Messiah. Thank you for watching, and thank you for your support. We end with the seasonal blessing. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, She'asanisim la'avotenu bayamim ha'hem basman hazeh. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who performed wondrous deeds for our ancestors in those ancient days at this season and has given us the greatest miracle, Yeshua, the light of the world, coming to earth at this time. Shalom from all of us here at Jews for Jesus. Hag Sameach. Happy Christmas. Happy Hanukkah.